Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and it's just a little after four o'clock and the sun is almost gone and I'm not happy about it. But I have a dustpan and something to rest my dustpan in and I have a, a silicone cookie sheet and I have an 18 by 24 inch black primed, pre-primed canvas hanging around and I think because I still didn't clear the tips on my paints that I'm just going to start shoving a skewer into the tip and hope that that helps <laughs> my cause a little bit. I'm going to add as much paint as I possibly can right there. And if I've got another gold one, I'll use that instead. Different color gold, but never mind. And I think I'll just add puddles over on the other side as well. And I'd like some bright colors. That is what I would like. And I'm going to do the same thing on both sides if I can. You can't see me add paint to the silicone cookie sheet. What seems like a silicone cookie sheet anyway. To me that I found at the uh, local church consignment, church thrift store. But I'm just going to keep adding the same colors. Now the one thing I haven't used much of today I really like is this green gold that's a color shift by folk art. But I kind of feel lately that everything that's neon needs to have something white next to it in order for it to work. And I really, 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 <laughs> really can't go on until I fix my tips soon. Because it's a long, slow process getting anything out because they're that clogged. Just gonna keep adding colors I like. And let's bring that new lovely yellow into this mixture. And I haven't used nearly enough of my oops magenta lately. And my paint is rolling away over here, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. I don't have a level surface beside me. I did level my my tile. What else do I want in there that I don't see? Probably some more white. Definitely some of this color shift by folk art. It's not as light as I was intending. So I will just go through my process and add a whole lot of orange. And then probably some more of that pink. And I'll use that pink to lighten up that other color. So, next, I'm going to take that color away. Maybe add some more white. And maybe add some black, too. Because bl black and white are both good catalyst. Whoa! <laughs> That's not exactly how I meant that to come out. But we're getting used to it. I kind of miss this. Yes, I want some of that. Perfect. All right, so this is going to go over where it can't dump over too easily, hopefully. And my timer is ticking away. Here is my canvas. Let's see if I can't get. That's an 18 by 24 inch canvas. And I'm really looking for to do some geometric things. But that may not be the way it works, because right now I'm looking at that dustpan and it's sort of calling me to to grab my shovel. And I can also dip my, my uh, Princeton Catalyst Art Tool spatulas in. And I've got spoons and scoops. Where are my scoops? My scoops are over here. What's in there? I have a bunch of those. This one will do for right now. So I think I'm just going to start with what I see as soon as I can get a blade. And I like to take the shovel and use it as a tool and utilize the fact that the edge of the 
paint coming out of it sort of looks stripy. And I don't know if I can completely swivel, but I'm willing to try. There is something anomalous in my paint right there that has to go away. Goodbye thing. And I, I have been wanting to do this for such a long time. I had some really cool paintings with spiky things that reminded people of Native American headdresses and stuff, and uh, I sort of miss them. And if you rest your shovel with the paint colors in it, you can often use it as a tool to spread paint. And I'm having a good time, and this is turning out pretty much like what I was hoping for. I don't know, it might, I might require myself to do another painting after this with that dustpan because it's not looking a lot like I'm going to need this. I'm not sure that was right, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. You can see quite a bit of that. I didn't use any red and I want some, but that's okay because I can just put it right into my color pan sheet, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, and you can rest the scoops or the sand shovels from the dollar store on their edge and they will deposit some lovely colors. That was not right, but that's okay. We were not done yet. And I'm going to steal some paint right out of my dustpan. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. No worries. Right over the edge. Splooge is allowed. Right over the edge. More fingers. Just use it as a little ribbon tool. There's all kinds of paint wants to come off that spat, that uh, shovel. All right, I'm already running low on orange, and I still have quite a bit of paint over here. And I want some more yellow. In fact, I want some more yellow here. And the beauty of this is that I can use my skewers or my chains or whatever else I want. I wish I kept my glasses where I could find them. This is what my silicone cookie sheet is looking like right now. And I'm just going to take that paint right there. Continue. To get down and get funky with my shapes and my designs. because I can. And I'm going to take some of that yellow I see over here. I don't know if it's actually going to work or not. But that's okay. It's not bothering me. I am having a good time. I'm inclined to just dump my dustpan of colors right onto the uh, cookie sheet and have done with it. That's black and I don't really... I think I'm going to take some of my color, put it right on the shovel, I've been so happy with my successes at doing this particular style in the past that I haven't really pushed myself to learn as much as I could about doing it. And I really want to do that. And I'm just going to keep using some more of that color. <laughs> the 
let it fall down. Just have a good time. So my cookie sheet is almost empty of color. So that's, I'm learning some stuff now. I'm give that a quick rinse, very quick rinse. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna have a dot and a dribble <laughs> and a dot and a dot and a dot and a dot and get that off of the, yes. Okay, so maybe I should turn this around so I can have a look at it and see if we're having fun yet. It sort of reminds me more of hier hieroglyphics than anything. Um, that's still cool. I'm still un not unhappy. So I'm going to put some paint right in my shovel. And instead of my silicone cookie sheet, which is MIA in the water bucket now, I'm going to use my dustpan, hopefully, to add some more colors right out of the top. which I actually intended on putting onto the canvas using the dustpan. And it's not out of, out of the question yet still. Nope, not minding any of that. It's all kind of fun. Just it's, some of it does make me want to add some other things, and that's okay. Because I have squeeze bottles, and I can do that. And if I want white, I can do that too. I like the fact that I can dip my shovel in and just pull it back out. and make stripes. I'm actually very pleased about that. It's a little tough working with these canvases because they're nice and black and dry and even fingerprints show on them if you're not careful. So I am having fun. It does make me want to just be irreverent and dot things away. And that's leaving me plenty of paint that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with at this point. But I am going to see if I can just grab a little bit of it. Let the rest of that flow over the side. Because I do love this style of of painting. I mean, like, I really do. <laughs> I want some of that purple down there. I'd probably be way better off to try and get it to come out of a bottle. Then off of that shovel. I'm missing orange. I have beautiful colors for sure. Never use my scoop or my skewer, but it's never too late. <laughs> okay. Just leading the puddle of paint to the edge should actually help quite a bit.
if there's enough paint. I can lead it around. I like this and I want something else in there. I love this color. Obviously it's not near white so it may not show up but I'll take my chances. Right for the moment. I've got two minutes left. That went by quickly, I want to tell you what. But that was fun for me. And I can just dip my skewer in to some of those awesome colors. And even my mud is metallic, so I'm not too worried about it. I'd like to do some stripes, but I really kind of need to do that on the cookie sheet. Skewers are great. Just lead them right over the side. I'm feeling a little rushed, but I know I have another minute when I'm done. To tell you all the things I always tell you, which are check out my new Teespring apparel under the video. Under that, there's my Amazon link where you can find the magnificent paint spreading omelet turning OXO spatula, orange handle, look for that. Get the big one, it's less expensive and it works better. You can also find out that there's a contest running, probably not from <laughs> under my video, but if you look for the studio tour in November, on uh, December 8th I will announce a winner on December 5th at midnight the contest ends. You can win one of three paintings. You have a choice. It's pretty cool. There are over 330 videos. So if you like what I'm showing you, there's a few things more like it. So you might like some more of them. So please feel free to have at that because I love sharing. And I don't have any other income. Which reminds me, I do sell my artwork <laughs> when I get a chance. And I've had a few inquiries, but uh, I've been really busy getting the book ready with a friend of mine who's editing uh, for Christmas. A book about fluid acrylics pouring and my work specifically. Definitions and questions and answered an answers answered. Um, it should be a very helpful handy book. It'll only be volume one. It'll only show the first hundred artworks, but we are planning and going to attempt to do more volumes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm easily distracted. Uh, at the bottom of the link underneath my vi YouTube video description are YouTube video artworks in Facebook albums. Links volumes 1 and 2, that's near the Pinterest and the Instagram link. The recipe for my pouring medium is in the body of the description. <laughs> I can, I can work and talk. Maybe. I'm trying. I love getting dotty. I really, really do. So that was fun. I had a really good time. I want to say thank you to all my contributors and all the people who comment and the 35,000 of, of you who subscribed. I really appreciate you. And I want to say this is Priscilla Batzell. And I'm going to torch. Wait, wait, wait. I got a torch. I'm going to torch because we release air bubbles in the paint.